All right, what's good, y'all? We back with another video. Y'all been asking for the sneaker collection video for a fat minute now, and the sneaker collection is getting crazy now. I have over 100 plus hoop kicks, and realistically, one, I don't want to go through all of them individually and show y'all. Two, it's just going to be a long ass video, a lot of repetitive stuff, everything like that. So, I thought it'd be a great idea to just show y'all my recent pickups. So, I think like every three months, I'm going to just show y'all new shoes that I've got, new shoes that have been sent to me, and yeah. Talk about them, show you some of my favorites. Uh, the pile's pretty flat. I'm gonna just go through this and show y'all what I didn't got. Oh, and I started a new sneaker page as well. It's called Crosby Kicks on Instagram. That's where I post all my sneaker reviews. I used to post a bunch of them on YouTube. I'm trying to make more like regular content on there and not make it just as sneaker oriented. So if you wanna see all my sneaker content, everything, even stuff I don't post on my TikTok, Crosby Kicks on Instagram, go check it out. All right, so we're going to start it off. I literally just got these last week. These are Hyper Dunk 2017. I have a gray pair if you've been following me, checking the sneaker reviews. Had to get the black pair. I only wore the gray pair one time, but I know this is one of the super loved shoes in Nike basketball community. So I got these for $85 at the outlet. I definitely think it was a steal, and I wanted the black pair off rip. So super clean shoe. Definitely gonna wear them soon. <laughs> Here's a pair of my first Converse basketball shoes. I've been wanting a pair of Converse basketball shoes for a minute. Uh, I forgot the name of the other pair, but I didn't really like the way they look. They look really like chunky. Got some extra material on the back. Uh, SGA Shade Gilgis Alexander wore these uh, for All Star Weekend. Or what the BB some some some. I don't know the name. Name super complicated. But his were like custom with like yarn on them and everything, but I still like the colorway. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get these as a removable thing over the laces. Super clean shoe. I wore them in one of my men's league games. I think they're a solid shoe. And they're mismatched colorways in between the shoes. So let me show you all both pairs for this shoe. Then I got the AE1s. I think it's the Velocity Blue colorway. I'm going to be getting that, uh, what is it called? It's like all pink colorway. Getting those too, because I actually really like these shoes. They're definitely a little heavy, but I think the all pink shoe would be a great shoe for slam ball as well. So, all blue. It comes with green laces as well. Green Adidas sign on the back. I've been hating on Adidas basketball for a minute. They're finally dropping some good shoes. I will also be getting the Harden 8 uh, Flamingo colorway April 13th, I believe, is when they drop. So, stay tuned for that. This is the one of the most highly requested shoes that everybody wanted me to review for a super long time. If you don't know what they are, they look like Kobe 8s, but they're not Kobe 8s. No, they're not fake Kobe 8s or anything like that. They're their own brand, and the brand is called Serious Player Only SPOs, and they're Player One Plus. These are super popular shoes in terms of performance. Uh, I know a lot of people say they really like them. I've got them. I've worn them a couple times. I actually haven't hooped in them, but I've dunked in them twice. And they're a solid shoe. Cool shoe. I think the price point is a little high, but they do offer multiple insoles, which most companies don't offer. Actually, I don't think any other shoe company offers. So multiple insoles, they provide different things with each insole. And yeah, clean colorway. This is, uh, I believe, a breast cancer colorway. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but yeah, clean shoe. On that same outlet trip that I got the uh, Hyper Dunk 2017 Lowe's in a black colorway, I got these Zion 3s. I was not going to buy these at all because I've seen so many bad reviews. And Jordan usually sends me care packages. I did move, so hopefully they're not still sending care packages to the old crib. But they haven't sent me one with these in them. So I was like, ah, bad performance from what I've heard. Um, price points 140. I don't really like any of the colorways. They did drop all pink one though, and those are fire. But I was like, ah, I'm finna wait. I was at the outlets. I saw these for forty dollars and was like, why not? Let's get them. Shout out offer up. I got these Kyrie threes and a Tiffany colorway for I think fifty dollars, forty dollars, something crazy like that. I think this is one of the best looking Kyries that they have. They also have a lot of collabs that are cool too. But this is my favorite color, and for that price point, I couldn't beat them in basically new condition. My girl had a pair of these. I didn't even know these existed. I saw she had a pair and I've been one and one ever since. So yeah, $50 off for it. Ha, I had to get my hands on these. These are the KD4, wait, yeah, KD4. Uh, an all-star colorway, galaxy colorway, whatever you want to call it. But I'm not gonna lie, these performance-wise, super clean. And I've been wanting this colorway since I was a kid. 
when I was younger, bro, I'm pretty sure these resold for like five, six plus hundred dollars, and that was not an option for me when I was in high school. I thought like that's another reason I buy so many shoes now and like got into sneak reviews because I love shoes when I was younger, but I just didn't have the money to get them. So now as an adult, I can fulfill all my childhood fantasies. But yeah, love these. All right, I know I said this was all basketball pickups, but I do have some football clicks that I got. These are a dunk low concept of uh, NFL. Not NFL. Football cleat. I don't know what they're called. Once again, I'm not a football player. I just thought they looked cool. And I was supposed to make some content on Ross 500. So I was like, all right, let me go get some cleats. Let me go get some gloves so I get on the field and be official for when we was ever supposed to step out there. It didn't end up happening, but I did end up making content with Coach OTB. I got to run routes against Keely Ringo, NFL player. And I got to work out with uh, Cardinals uh, cornerback as well. So... I wore these in a lot of those videos. If you follow me on TikTok, you've seen them, but not gonna lie, these are super clean. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know why I'm into buying football cleats right now, but huge LeBron fan. That's the GOAT for anybody that doesn't agree with me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Michael Jordan's not it. Don't say Kobe either. RIP Kobe, though. But um, yeah, I got these Fruity Pebble LeBron cleats. I feel like the basketball version of these is super clunky and it's just not going to be worn on the court by me. Like, there's just no way. They're clunky, they're huge, but these actually look really clean. So, I got them on sale at the outlets as well. I think they're like 160 They're originally 240 was not paying 240 but 160 for something that I actually really was interested in and liked. I'll take it. Even though, I guess they have a tight end plate on the bottom and I didn't know that. These have like a speed plate. Shout out Adam for letting me know that information. So anything fast, I'll be wearing these. Uh, this is my first ever Kobe hit on sneakers. Core purple Kobe 8. The crazy part is I didn't even want these. But of course, you're going to hit on the one shoe that you don't want. Uh, I would prefer the teal colorway if anything. But uh, I just think the design's kind of simple. Not boring, but 2 and then the 24 and the 8 across the shoe. It's cool, but I wear them every now and then. Can't go wrong with a pair of Kobe 8s. Uh, shout out Way Away. They sent me two pair of Fission 9s. They sent me a pink colorway. Pink and like a teal-ish colorway. And then they sent me this like, it's kind of like a chocolate with some pink, with some blue. It's got a little bit of everything on this one. It's the origin colorway. I don't know the name of the other one. But yeah, cool shoe. They perform well. Definitely some great outdoor shoes if you're looking to get some. Shout out them, they sent me both of these. The GT Cut 3s. If y'all been following any of my sneaker basketball content, y'all know GT Cut 1s, 2s, and 3s have been a staple of my basketball shoe content. Love the 1s, hate the 2s, was excited to see what the 3s are talking about. Ended up getting a rare pair and returning them because I like this colorway a little better. And I was trying to get a pair as early as possible just to make reviews and everything like that. But these are solid, super clean. I do think they have a little bit of a high arch, which is kind of a little painful for me with flat feet. They pick up dust a little easy, but other than that, these are a great shoe. A lot better than the twos for sure. And I think they look clean as well. And there's a lot of padding on the ankle, which actually feels really nice. All right, so right here we got two pairs of the AR1s. We have the Valentine's Day colorway, and then we have Kick Screws collab with uh, the AR1s and Rigorer. They've sent me four pairs of these. I have a black and purple Lakers colorway, and I have the yellow and purple Lakers uh, colorway. Valentine's colorway is tough, though, with the uh, removable patches and everything as well. You can move around, put them wherever. I played in these in the men's league. Liked them. Solid shoe. So if you haven't uh, checked them out and you want a cheap shoe, I think they're like $100, $90 retail. Definitely would suggest these as an option. And shout out Kicks Group for the kicks. Also got sent these. I have one pair of uh, Shockwave Fives. This is my second pair. This is, I guess it's a lab with Cordura, I think is the brand. But these have the carbon fiber accents on the back. Cool little shoe. I wouldn't say they're one of my favorites, but they sent them to me. I got them for free. And yeah, solid shoe. May do a giveaway on them, may put them on my eBay. For those that don't know, I have an eBay account. I've been selling shoes for years now, like years before I ever started doing social media, something like that. But every now and then on my eBay, I'll post like $20 hoop kick steals, $10, stuff like that, and a whole bunch of different sizes. So if you wanna go check that out, I should link it in the description below for you. But yeah, shout out Kobe, the GOAT. He makes amazing shoes. Uh, I got the Kobe Ford Gift of Mambas. I think these just look super clean, bruh. 
But like when I was younger, I was not a fan of all black hoop shoes. Like I loved colorful, bright hoop shoes. I'm starting to find a love for all black hoop shoes. Um, I ended up getting these on offer of. I met up with a sneaker reseller out in Arizona. Got them for $360 off a uh, release. Prices dropped a little bit, so I did kind of lose a bit of money there. But I wear them every now and then. Clean shoes, solid shoe to hoop in. I still like my fives and my sixes better. But yeah. And speaking of gift to mambas, I have two pairs. And yes, this is two right shoes. One is from Jersey Frost, one I paid resale for. Um, shout out Jersey Frost, they sent me these. I'm gonna get into some of the other shoes that they've sent me recently. So Jersey Frost has been showing a lot of love recently. So all these shoes, all these shoes that are left are from them and that they've sent me. And I've done reviews on most of these. If I haven't done them, they're gonna come out soon. Once again, Crosby Kicks, go check it out. They sent me EYBL Kobe 5 tie-dye colorway. Super clean, super tough. Love the colorway. These aren't even out yet. These are the GG. I don't know what the official name is of them. Uh, Kobe 8s. They have the butterflies across the shoe. One shoe has a GG on the back. Other has a 2 on it. Gold Nike signs. Wore these today. Did the review. They actually look really clean though. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't loving them when I first saw the pictures, but on foot, solid shoe. The GT Cuts are my favorite shoe to hoop in. Got an all black pair from them. Can't go wrong. I'm telling y'all, I'm starting to like all black hoop shoes. Especially in shoes that I actually like that perform well too. But I was like a black hoop shoe, black sock type of guy. And now I'm black hoop shoe, white sock. I don't know. I think it looks clean. I'm not going to lie. Then they sent me the EYBL GT Cut ones. I've been wanting these for a while because you know I have a love for GT Cut ones. And this is one of the few colorways that was kind of like a good color in my opinion. They only ended up dropping like six official colorways or something like that for GT Cut ones. And I feel like this is probably one of the best. This and the Purple Void is up there for best GT Cut one colorways. And then the UNC ones that they sent me as well. But not least, oh, last but not least, oh wait. Not last but not least. We got one more after this. Um, we got the Oregon Duck. Oh, the duck is not on this shoe. It's on the other shoe. But Oregon Duck GT Cut 1. Uh, through Jersey Frost as well. If you have not got any shoes from them, but you want any of these, use code uh, Tony Crosby II. It'll be linked in the description below. Get 10% off any shoes. It does take two to four weeks to come. But great place. I wear a lot of their shoes. And I think they're good. I also do real versus rep comparisons all the time, but another super clean shoe. Last on the list, Easter just passed. Easter Kobe 8s. Once again, can't go wrong with a pair of Kobe 8s. Love the OG tongue. And I feel like this colorway is super clean. So while I was at the hotel for uh, Fan Fest, I had a dunk contest and everything this weekend. I did end up getting some more shoes sent to me. So I was like, I might as well throw these in so I don't have to throw them in three months from now or two months from now. Whenever I do the updated version of it. So we got the AE ones that came in. I already have the all blue colorway you can see in the far left. This was a colorway I really wanted, but I like both of them, honestly, and I think they're super clean. Then a shoe that everybody's been waiting on once and they're reselling for like $400 right now, which is absolutely insane. They are a good shoe. I hooped in them today, got a couple dunks, all that good stuff, but $400, insane. I got them for free. Shout out Kicks Crew. Y'all are the best, the plug for sure. I finally got a pair of D-Book ones. I got the Haven colorway. I think these are super tough, super clean. I've worn them on court. I've hooped in them. I play like some pickup games and stuff like that. They're cool, but they're just so flat, bruh. They're comfortable, they look good, but maybe if I wear them a couple more times, I like them, but they're not one of my favorite hoop shoes to be honest right now. But this is officially all the shoes that I've got recently now.